Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be spending a day in the life as that girl. If you don't know what the that girl trend is, it's basically like a girl that we see on the internet that basically has her entire life together. Um, she eats healthy, she works out, she journals, she's self-aware, just all of that stuff. Um, but I have a very busy day so it might be a little challenging to do all this stuff as well as get everything I have to do today done so maybe that'll be a test of this trend can you really be productive and healthy and exercise and all this stuff while still having a life so yeah I'm very excited um, I've seen this trend a lot on like TikTok and YouTube and of course Instagram like everybody posts their best self so you see just like pictures just like this um, and on Pinterest as well so I kind of have some inspiration on Pinterest and I have a few ideas of what I want to do today so the first thing I'm going to do is work out I haven't decided if I want to go on a run yet I don't know what the temperature is outside but if it's cooler then I might go on a run um, I'm gonna do some weightlifting maybe and then have a healthy breakfast. And the first thing you have to do to start your day right is make your bed. So that's what I'm doing today. Normally I wait until a little bit later in the day to make my bed, but that's okay. I'll do it now. Here's what I'm wearing on my run. Um, it's definitely not the cutest workout outfit. Um, that girl would definitely have cuter workout clothes. But I don't. Um, this was the only like cute workout top I have and it's not even that cute, but whatever. I also have to do the headband because my hair is now too short to go in a ponytail correctly. So I'm also wearing shorts from Under Armour. This shirt is thrifted, I believe. So I'm going to leave in a minute. I'm going to get some water first, then I'll head out. So I just got back from my run, um, I ran maybe about a mile and a half. I went out and I ran into my mom, so I just ran back with her and then I did some sprints at the end. I think it was like a mile of running and then like almost a half mile of sprints. I did several. So sprinting feels really good. I'm not the biggest fan of running itself, but I do enjoy going fast. <laughs> so when I have time to catch my breath before and after, of course. So yeah, now I'm going to do some weightlifting. Um, I don't really know what to do. I'm glad I went on a short run because if I do a lot of cardio, then I have no energy left for weightlifting. So I'll probably do some arms and a little bit of legs as well. When the dehumidifier turns on in the middle of your workout and you can't hear your music, it is such a vibe kill. Like, literally, I'm just going to crank up my music and keep going. I still have to do abs and a little more arms, but I am pretty tired, so. I'm done with my workout, and now I'm gonna go take a shower and then have some breakfast. I'm really tired for some reason this morning, probably just the sprinting, but I do need something to wake me up, so maybe, maybe a cold shower? We'll see how I feel. Shower is complete. Next task is picking out a cute outfit that I can still do everything I need to do in today so to the closet i'm wearing this green and white like stretchy knit um tank top from urban outfitters and these jeans that i cropped um in the past video so now i have to like i've got clothes laying around and we're having family come tonight so i have to pick up the house so i'm gonna start with my room and then i'll go down and have some breakfast
my breakfast. Is it worthy of that girl? Definitely not. Um, I was going to use carrots for the hummus, but actually we don't have any carrots right now, so couldn't do that. Um, I should have made another egg and just left out the hummus, but it was too late. I had already scooped the hummus by the time I realized we didn't have any carrots. And then also, the avocado that I had, it was only like half of an avocado left over from my mom the other day, and most of it was bad, and the other avocados we had are not ripe yet. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. This is definitely not the prettiest meal, but at least it's healthy. I finished my breakfast and it was actually surprisingly good, although it was a lot of food. Um, I would not normally eat that much for breakfast. Normally I'll have like a small bowl of oatmeal, which is kind of something that girl would eat, but also she would have like bananas and blueberries on it or like have a smoothie. So I, I cannot do bananas. They just repulse me, so I can't really have smoothies. There are some smoothies that I can have, like mango pineapple, but I don't have materials for that, so could not do a smoothie, although I do like mango pineapple smoothies, so maybe another time. But yeah, now I'm gonna work on cleaning up the rest of the house. I did do my room and the living room, but several more rooms to pick up, so I will be back when I'm done with that, I guess. The worst part of the house right now is definitely my desk area, so I need to tackle this and I guess I'll be back when I do. Here's what my desk looks like now. I'm much happier with this. It's definitely a lot cleaner, although I do think I need to get a new keyboard. The rest of my desk looks really nice and then that's just like old, but whatever. Here's what it looks like. I have a few more things to carry upstairs, but other than that, good. So I did some cleaning up and it turns out my babysitting thing was moved so I don't have that today. So I have about an hour until we have to head out because I have an appointment, I need to get a new passport. So um, that's like a half hour drive I think and then we're going shopping after that. So I think I'm going to start a 3D print after that too so I can show you guys how I do that. But yeah, I don't know what that girl does when she has a lot of stuff to do. She probably just does it. <laughs> But I think I'm going to try to do a school assignment um, if the next one isn't too hard. If it's too hard, I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm thinking about what to eat for lunch before I go. And I was looking on Pinterest for some, like, aesthetic lunch meal ideas. And I can't find any that I have the ingredients for, to be honest. So I think I might just have a grilled cheese. Like, I know that's not super healthy or whatever, but... Everything that girl eats is so pretty and green and I just, I don't have the right ingredients so I can't do it. So, grilled cheese it is. So I'm done with my passport appointment and my mom's just in shopping. Um, we went to Costco, and after this I think we're going to go to Target, which is definitely something that girl does, but um, I want to buy We Were Liars um, because I really, really love that book, and I think it's a book that I need to own, um, so we're going to possibly go to Target. We haven't quite decided yet, but that's what I'm going to get if we end up going there. So I'm at the library, um, I'm going to go in and get a few books and a few movies as well because although I have plenty of reading material at home, I just, I like to get popular books at the library. I don't, I don't want to buy them, so I just kind of try to find out when they're available. So I also have a few returns to do and I'm going to be going to the P.O. box. So I'm done at the library. I just want to show you guys what I got. So I got The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. Um, the Little Woman movie, I haven't seen it yet. Um, the Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I haven't read that, but it's a classic, so I wanted to read it. One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. 
and November 9th by Colleen Hoover. So this should be some fun reading. Now I'm gonna head off to check the P.O. box. I think we're having some like pasta chicken dish for dinner. So I don't know if that girl eats that, but I didn't make it, so I don't know. So it's the next morning and I'm gonna be starting my print. I need to reprint the second horn on my Loki helmet, so I'm pretty nervous because the last like bunch of prints, well I did have a few successful ones, but the last bunch of ones before that failed and it's just a pain. So I'm hoping this is gonna work out, but I have my filament here, so I'm gonna load that. But first I have to clean the print base. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna clean it and then I will show you guys kind of what starting print looks like. So it's just loading the filament right now. You can see it coming out. That's just the clear stuff that my brother was printing before. Now it's coming out. You see that? A little bit of gold. So I'm going to select, yes, that it is coming out the correct color so it can stop using all that. So I selected the print and it was preheating. Now it's doing the test line, which I need to pull up this. There we go. So now it's going to do, it's going to like sense each quarter and then it'll do a test print line and then it'll start printing. So now it's making the line around the outside of the print and here's just the little test print line to get the filament flowing correctly. I've got an hour left on my print, I'll show you it here, ta-da, I'll show you a little closer in a minute. But I just want to update you, um, I've been working on school and yeah. It seems to be going pretty well. I don't see that it's peeling up at all, and really the peeling up was happening at about this time, so fingers crossed. So my print just finished, and I'm gonna take it off of the plate. It's a little stuck. I'm gonna give it a little time to cool down, and then I will take it off and break off all the support material. So I'm going to end this video here. I had a lot of fun becoming that girl, even if that didn't mean too many changes to my life. It was still interesting to be super, like, aware of what I'm doing, being super healthy, and just, like, you know, getting up early, going straight out to exercise, doing all the things that, like, you promise yourself you're going to do, and you maybe do, like, once a week or less so um, I would like to try this again because there are a few things that I didn't actually get to do um, I had all the materials to make a cheese board and I didn't get a chance to do that um, I also wanted to do some journaling because that girl is super like self-aware and she just she writes journal prompts a lot so that was something that I wanted to do I didn't quite get the chance to do that I didn't have enough time so I will do it just let me know what you want to see if I do this again. So yeah, um, make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at GetOutdoorsBook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!